The death of American computer executive Dave Goldberg while he was using a treadmill has raised concerns about the safety of exercise equipment. Goldberg was found bleeding in the gym of a Mexican hotel on Friday. The details are still not clear about how it happened. We get more now from our health reporter, Pauline Chen. Pauline? Thanks very much, Ken and Michelle. Well, deaths from accidents involving treadmills are extremely rare, but research shows tens of thousands of treadmill accidents do occur every year in North America. No one knows exactly how Dave Goldberg, husband of Facebook COO Sheryl Sandberg, suffered a fatal head injury. But what is clear is that thousands of people suffer injuries from treadmills every year. From 1991 to 2013, um, it's reported that they've tripled the you know, number of injuries. It's tripled over time. In the U.S., more than 50 million people use treadmills, and they continue to be the biggest segment of exercise equipment sold. But 460,000 Americans, almost half a million people, were sent to hospital in 2012 for exercise equipment-related injuries, and 32,000 of those were hospitalized. Deaths from treadmill accidents average about three per year. Why are the numbers rising? I think it's a conglomeration of factors. One, we are seeing more machines. They're just more readily available, more affordable, and more people have them. So you increase the exposure, you may increase the injury, um, the absolute number of injuries that you see. We're also much more distracted. If we're distracted while we're driving, um, using mobile devices. Professor Janessa Graves says the injuries vary according to age group, with some as young as three or four. So for children, we see more often hand injuries, friction burns. Um, for middle-aged adults, we see lower extremity sprains and strains, probably your knee, ankle, you know, those type of things. And then for the elderly, um, and, and also for the, you know, 40 to 65 age, we see folks who have non-injuries, probably maybe a heart attack or something systemic. Goldberg, who was 47, suffered injuries to the back of his head. Head injuries comprised only 16% of injuries in his age range. Um, so head injuries are relatively rare. Over the years, treadmills have added some safety features, emergency stop keys, protective barriers to prevent little fingers from getting caught in the moving belt. But overall, Graves says fatalities remain extremely rare and the benefits in terms of fitness are hard to argue against. As for avoiding the treadmill and taking your exercise to the sidewalks and roads, Professor Graves says there are dangers there too. With today's Lifetime, I'm Pauline Chan.